Well, really, it is not as much as what the former Prime Minister of Syria said, um, but any keen observer of the, of the Syrian situation will come to the same conclusion. Uh, there is no future for Bashar Assad in Syria, and his regime will collapse. It's a, it's a question only of when, not if. So that's that's what is where we see the situation going at this at this juncture. Now uh, the question is, what can be done in order to accelerate uh, his collapse, to prevent further killing and further massacre? And this is where I, th I feel very strongly, the United States, along with the EU and certainly with the full participation of Turkey in particular, need to establish as quickly as possible a no-fly zone, provide the rebels with better equipment in order to deal with the Syrian tanks and airplanes more effectively. And the sooner the regime is toppled, uh, the better it's going to be for the Syrian people. And as you know, thousands and hundreds of thousands of uh, Syrian refugees are flowing into Turkey, into Jordan, into Lebanon, and uh, I think the mark of 2000 already passed, and so we have to consider what would be the consequences if this conflict continues for another six months, for example. There will be a major crisis, uh, and that ought to be, ought to stop to the, you know, as soon as possible. Really, it's not as much what Turkey and Israel can do. Of course, they will be directly and indirectly involved to some extent. But more importantly, what the Syrian National Council and the rebels' commanders can do or should be doing. And the Syrian National Council so far has been divided. They have not really reached a significant consensus as to how to deal with post-Bashar Assad era. And so, in my view, the first thing they ought to be doing right now is to get their act together, get united, establish an agenda for post Bashar, form a shadow government with a defense minister, foreign minister, and, and perhaps a you know, general leader for the transitional period. And the sooner they do so, the better. Also because we know that Bashar Assad regime will collapse and if they are not prepared, the chaotic situation in Syria will be even worse than it is today under this uh, current regime.